And I was like, I got him. <laughs> I knew you would. I knew he would. Hey, everybody. It's Tuesday night. Welcome to Between the Rolls, uh, Murder Hobo Inc. Stab at a talk show. Uh, follow us on you Twitch. You shall not pass. <laughs> We're not as, watching Murder Hobo's episode tonight. Uh, as Kyle has pointed out, we're doing wizards. Nobody cares. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, ooh. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, ooh. Uh, it's down there. Uh, if you want to do uh, Discord with us, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want a seat at the table, hit us up at Twitter or Gmail. It's M Hobo Inc. for both. Uh, and let us know you're interested. And also, a big welcome to oddfishgames.com, a uh, potential sponsor. I mean, what's that smell? Somebody. Oddfish Games. <laughs> somebody must, must have told them that we were something special and Kyle wasn't around for them to verify it. Uh, but I will say one of their. Uh, Companies is Adventure Sense, uh, and if you want some cool stuff uh, that smells good, except for the sewer, do not inhale the sewer. Don't inhale the sewer. Uh, <laughs> check them out, uh, oddfishgames.com. Welcome aboard. Uh, you know how this goes, folks. If you have a, if you've seen us, uh, if you haven't seen us, uh, prepare for an hour of entertaining uh, discussion and peaceful resolution. Uh, tonight, we're going to go ahead and give you a recap. Yes, I'm droning. Uh, we're going to give you a recap of the three games that we played this past week, as well as the discussion on Gand or Mer uh, Gandalf. Wizards. Wizards, that's it. We're doing Wizards. Uh, Harry! It's about Harry! <laughs> that's not how you pronounce it. It's this? Uh, not uh, Harry. This... Uh, this is what I deal with, folks. So if you're if you're scared of being on a stream, don't be. First one up, yeah. Kyle. Kyle, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Kyle. Um, riveting, riveting. Oh my God, Kyle! How hard I, I, is it to tell them about yourself? I'm brain dead at this moment. This is my busy time of the year. Uh, uh, I'm Kyle. I play games. I am Dewey Docamel. The world's smartest barbarian uh, and not a wizard. Also, I write some one shots for funsies. And some of them are good. We haven't seen them yet. Yeah, no. But we're I told to tell you that. <laughs> they also last I wouldn't waste it on you guys. Come on. I, but if Oddfish Games would like to sponsor, I will play one of the good ones. That, Oddfish good Games. Point. Yes, the oyster candle does smell like clam. You know, you're, you're, you're pitching a lot. Uh, next up for the next 22 minutes is Carol. Carol, who are you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, it's not like I'm Kyle running. And away. see, she hasn't even started yet. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name's Carol. I'm a commission mini painter, also a longtime gamer. Stop counting me down, Kyle. I can see that. Uh, longtime gamer, sometime GM. Uh, yeah, and... Uh, I, and I play Taryn on the campaign, since we mentioned Dewey, my bard. Uh, and tonight, also not a wizard. All right. Oh, that, that was surprisingly abrupt. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm giving you credit on that one, Carol. I spoke too soon, and I stand corrected. Uh, folks, let's get right into the three amazing scenarios we ran this past week. We're going to start with Carol. See, I told you, 20, 22 minutes, so it's not yeah. over. Episode 118, uh, Trial and Tribulations. It was the cacophony episode uh, that Carol got to be in. So, Carol, uh, what happened and how did you uh, like it? Well, I loved it. It was anytime it involves a trial, we really didn't have a trial. And tribulations. Anytime, anything that involves a trial, I always enjoy that sort of thing. But, uh, I am convinced that we are turning this a bunch of cacophony one shots into a campaign because this is the third one in a row that actually kind of goes together. And this one literally was came from the, the previous episode where we had the joy ride and the hot air balloon and caused a bunch of damage, including my face hitting a uh, what was that? A, a gar gargoyle. Gargoyle off the church, one of the churches. Blinded two people. Off the hot air balloon. Uh, well, and also, the, 
falling out of my pocket. And she's, she's a bad human being. Yeah. Shut up. I Why really would Oddfish help. Games support us? <laughs> you know what? My dice betrayed me continuously that night because every hey, at least I got back in like the the basket most of the time. You know what though? You know whose dice don't betray you? Oddfish Games dice. That's actually, right. They make dice too. Go get your dice uh, as well as your scented candle. Uh, you actually burn it down and your dice are at the bottom of the candles. And they make plushies so that she can cry into it after you abuse her so dramatically. <laughs> Look, I got a plushie. Fish games. That's uh, not from Odd Fish Games. Odd Fish Games, you should send her an actual plushie because it soaks up the tears so much better. Oh, uh, Kyle is a Odd Fish master games. statesman. Uh, Carol, continue. Have- continue your joke. I don't remember where the hell it started. All right, so I didn't even start. I was still talking about the hot air balloon game. It was somewhere between wah wah and wah wah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. So basically, we were uh, the authorities wanted to talk to us about how what we did last week. Uh, so it was sort of a trial. We basically got in, got questioned. Uh, actually, it was a trial because we got questioned in front of five uh five essentially judges councilman councilman thank you um and i know we had the head of the cacophony guild with us we started out actually thinking we were going to get yelled at by the head of the cacophony guild what the hell is his first i know his last name is like d's nuts but what the hell is his first name amanda amanda (laughs) Amanda, (laughs) you and your names so he went along with us. We thought we were going to get a you know, tongue lashing, but he actually was more concerned about us. And he went along to help defend us. Well, at the end of the trial, of course, because it has to come out like this, it ended up uh, with two votes that we should go to jail, two votes that we should go free, and one vote was undecided. So we needed to go talk to the person. He had more questions for us. And... Uh, I remember we were outside waiting and we saw this dwarf come up uh, wearing a blue tabard. I don't remember certain details and named FedEx. Yep, that was the name. Yeah, my names suck. <laughs> he had a basket with him. We noticed as he went, actually, I noticed. I think the other two saw other things like one saw bees and I, oh, the other one saw the drunk guy peeing, which I'm really glad I did not see. But I saw FedEx walk in with the basket. So we're all, so we get called into that councilman's, and once again, I'm going to forget the name. <laughs> and, you know, hey, I remember details like self. I always, I suck at names, even in reality. So uh, I don't remember the councilman's name, but it was an elf. I remember that much. It was uh, not Alf, the elf. No, it was so not Alf. I, I didn't it go did, that stringent on it. It did begin with an A, I believe, though. Arlwa. Oh, well, I one of Ar- us was paying attention. I actually wow, God! <laughs> well, since you know what, Carol? If you stop playing your thirteen games a week, oh. maybe you could focus on playing one game yes. well. And it's like that fun. one game, Odd Fish Games. <laughs> oh my God! You are the. Ugh. I think that's that like fifty dollars, right, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what uh, paid sponsorship? What? Kyle, shut up! We care about money. So, uh, so, so, anyways, he started asking us questions, and when he what do you up, think of Odd Fish Games? <laughs> that was not one of the questions. <laughs> totally, they're totally the best. Uh, no, <sighs> no, that was not one of the questions. But we started answering questions, and Fernando told us not to screw this up. But of course, it got screwed up because what happens? He opens the basket, and there's an iron cobra in there that lashes out and bites him. And he goes down like a friggin' sack of potatoes, I guess, uh, leaving us to fight the, the cobra, which we did, and we put it down, and we got him Humanely, home. humanely, PETA. PETA, if you'd like to sponsor us, let us know. They God, put down the iron cobra. No, PETA, PETA does not have to sponsor us. PETA can F off. <laughs> wow! Yeah. Hey, you know what goes together with PETA? Uh, Odd fish. <laughs> No, don't do that. To and them. strange <laughs> sense. <laughs> so terrible. They're they're getting a lot of they're getting a lot of airtime. 
That's yeah, nice. they are. They'll, 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 they'll like that. <laughs> okay, so you killed the iron cobra. Iron cobra, uh, more or less. We were then told, well, we better go and try to catch FedEx. <laughs> oh, that's, that's well, actually, I got hit. Both of us got hit. If it got hit and he was paralyzed, I got hit and managed to make the save. Because you know what? <sighs> My so from Pirate Dog Dice, made by Awesome Carrie, and they rolled pretty darn well. Um, Pirate Dog Dice, folks. He and David, yeah, now, oddly enough, we all seem to recover from one bite nicely, but the councilman was friggin' just down for the count, which I thought was okay. First so bite, then, always the strongest. <laughs> I got, okay, that's fair. So then we had to go out and find the dwarf, which we did, and he was taking some payment from uh, from an ogre. Uh, and the ogre basically, oh no, yeah. So the ogre basically skedaddled, and we came and punk beat the dwarf almost to death, and dragged him back to because we wanted to talk to him. But then of course shit went down. We dragged him back to HQ. Shit went down. I forget how exactly he died, but I remember he got killed. Oh, I remember. Missed medicine checks. Somebody screwed up their medicine check and ended up killing him instead of healing him. What was it? Oh, no, it was... I, <laughs> was spit, it me? Spitballing. I, th I think it was... I thought it was... Uh, hey, you're you're going to come close to that 22. <laughs> Actually, well... So I think at this point, we pretty much have been cleared. Uh, Guys, I have an important thing to say. I actually decided I to look up Odd Fish Games, and they have this book called Cooking with Dice, The Acid Test. That looks interesting. Plus, they have the word lactic acid. That's actually two words, but lactic you know, acid. I okay. Chemists. I'm going to leave it at this. I'm just going to say, want to see how the rest turned out, watch it, because this is just getting too annoying. What? <laughs> uh, the good news I is they did I gave find... you a really good break. I was. Yeah. It took no, me a little while no, to find no. Odd Fish Games no, on the internet. You know what? That's oddfishgames.com. No, 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 no seriousness. Um, the, basically, the, the, there's a mystery that was presented to us. There's a big mystery that's presented to us. I said this. It is a mystery. We shall yeah. see if they solve it. Yeah. Uh, next up was, go yeah, ahead. Say, basically after that, I'll show you. Basically after that, we went, I went and got changed because I remember I got peed all over multiple times because we had, we had the people that were against us, aka the nun who now has one eye because it got hit by a coin that, that fell out of my pocket. And uh, um, Uma Thurman, uh, and company, they had a basically a lynch mob at the beginning throwing stuff at us. Uh, they probably would have lynched us if they could have. So I went, that changed. We went to a bar. Hey, we, this whole thing started a bar. Why not? Went to another bar, different bar this time. Uh, hung out, had lunch. Heard people talking about FedEx, I believe. And David went over to try to, to talk to them. <laughs> And what ended up, there were, th oh, what? They were barbarians, so they were berserkers. He went over, and he, David plays the changeling, so changed into a very attractive lady. This was fun. This was funny. I'm sorry. This was really funny. And basically, the brothers got into a fight. The third one basically waited till the first two were, were done beating each other up, and then ended up walking away with her, if I recall. I know he, like, went and knocked him out. And two of them were knocked out, and we went back to their. We all went back to their place because we were going to have a party. No ramps, sluts, slut well, shaming the adventurers. I believe he he was so drunk he passed out, and we found out FedEx's room was right across the hall, and we went and searched it. We actually found a burnt note that had uh, basically it was the uh, contract to take out the uh, councilman. Uh, there was enough writing left on it where we could figure that out. And I'm trying to remember what the final... Oh, shit. I remember there was that part. We went find out. I'm trying to remember if that was the final... If that was the final piece, there was one more piece that I'm forgetting. 
nope you guys went back to the adventurers guild to figure yeah. out who the suspect was and saw the witch writing in the sky yeah. That Uma Thurman on a broom writing in the sky. Looking you don't know it's Uma. It could be anybody. <laughs> then it was Uma, actually. Ah, I, I could have lied. No. <clears throat> Very good. It. So did you have fun? I think I already said that. Yeah. I you're you're I, 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 I am an egomaniac, so I need my ego <laughs> constantly you're, stroked. You're I remember so, no, 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 go ahead. your scenario well, all your scenarios lately have been very interesting. Oh, and lately, the, the initial ones, they suck, folks. Don't ever watch an old one because they all suck. Except for Murder of the Dome. <laughs> I didn't play them back then. But regardless, the ones, I think the hot air balloon was a fascinating one. Um, the biggest said, I've said this about Cacophony. In fact, I really enjoy it because it's so sandboxy. Once we get done with the trial course <laughs> and finding FedEx, and so basically cleared us in terms of the councilmen and such um and then we got cleared you know i think we were let off for the other thing to yeah get, we were told to get the hell out be, get out now before they change their minds and arrest exactly and i really said i enjoy i enjoy a trial i always enjoy i like doing role play things where i can put my voice into it and my thoughts and my you know and my ideas rather than just depend on dice i always i do really <laughs> what's that Howard. The dice giveth and the dice taketh oh, yeah. away. I mean, I don't mind a good fight, but I also really, I do enjoy role play, the role-playing aspects of the game. Very uh, good. Let's, uh, let's, let's move on to episode 119, Kobold Pass. Uh, Carol also played in this one, but as so did Kyle. So, Kyle, uh, what'd you think? Well, first off, I'd like to say and thank Oddfish Games <laughs> for sponsoring this. And uh, I think <laughs> This Cobalt uh, this, uh, Pass will be quite a sensey adventure, I'll tell you about, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, so last Saturday, we had uh, Carol, myself, Christy. Christy. Christy you say Corinne, you're like, David. What? No, no, I said No, David. no, uh, of course, David. David and Christy. Uh, Christy was playing um, Captain Kirk. Kirsch. Uh, Karash, Captain Karash. Yeah, Captain Kirk, trying to sleep with anything. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> to be fair, she was. Uh, uh, what, we had that, we had the rogue lady, maybe. Were you a rogue? No, you were a ranger. I was my rogue. Artificer, yeah. and then we went back to the Dew Clan, uh, where we met Shaman Givdu, uh, who was really the only person worth listening to, if you could stand it. Remind All me right. who played him. I don't oh, know. Kyle played. I think Holmes naked. You can't understand if most of what he said. I mean, he was. I don't funny, know what you're because that's there's a an owl bear over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now Carol, if you could not be so rude to interrupt me, oh, let me oh, tell you wow. some of the things that happened <laughs> with the amazing adventure sense of Oddfish. So there the party was at the Rowdy Tavern. Ooh, you can smell the Rowdy Tavernness of it already. Having a royal feast when they were called out uh, uh, to do some exploring of Kobold Pass. They were in search of gold mine and other riches that were in abundance. So after they were sent to the field of battle, uh, you can feel free to look these wait, up. Wait, wait, which is actually a good scent. I really like that one. Oh, is it? All right. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah. he knows we're talking about that. I, I love their booth. And so the party went on through the blooming prairie until they saw a smoky campfire that was actually a kobold village where they saved he, she, it. And by they, I mean Shaman Givdu because he has a Oh, for fuck's sakes, no. Uh, no excuse no. me, oh. how many of you guys wanted to kill she -E it That's true. Yeah, that's he, he's got a point. Shaman Dr. Karash Givdu. really did. Guys, yeah, what we discovered is that kobolds were innocent, and everybody else in that adventure was shit, except for Shaman Givdu, because his heart oh, was big shit. for the little races. Anyway, after doing that, finding he-she-it, 
that village was destroyed by crazy adventures. I didn't have crazy adventures as smell, but that'd be a nice smell. I imagine maybe oh, a hint go. of sports deodorant and uh, sweat. Body odor, alcohol, and blood. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Ooh. That's perfect. If I say <laughs> odd fish games enough, will they make a murder hobo scent? Oh. No, I don't oh. think so. <laughs> anyway, we continued exploring. Would that be a long-winded scent? <laughs> Incredibly long-winded. I have seven more scents to go through, so give me a second here. <sighs> so we continued through where we found a cave that was home to an owlbear, but no one actually knew what an owlbear was. And, and Scotty, Richard, I don't know. A mechanical hound went flying. It was great. Oh, was and it then not? we went Wait. traveling through some enchanted forests and some mountain woodlands where we encountered a wizard's tower where there was a treasure vault and a red dragon. Yeah, that was fun. At that point, everything hit the fan <laughs> and it was a mess. Everyone realized how awesome Shaman Give Do was. And how we have to rewatch that episode, I think. <laughs> being that awesome. I remember being shit lucky. Yeah, yeah. Ah, not shit lucky. Hey, that was Shaman Givdu who helped you out. And the whole reason why you guys didn't need a healing sanctuary. Actually, what Odd was the games? Well, actually, one of the things that was cool about that shaman was the uh, the ghostly ancestor with a disadvantage and b half damage yes reduction holy crap i'm yeah, like no i have screwed frank over with that <laughs> yeah. you, you've done that before <laughs> that is a you know what i think, think it was the same good. adventure that uh christy and i ran last time except i had done that adventure previously with tamlin Ah. It was the desert city. You walk in, there's undead right. everywhere, and there was a, a death tyrant somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you were like, ah, shit, Tamlin and Kyle are going up against the death tyrant. They're fucked. That was in, uh, yeah, that, that was in the city at the uh, intersection, the trading yes. city at the intersection. Yeah, that was yep, a good yep. one. That we all good went one. down the dragon, by the way. It ran away before we. I, I'm sorry. Out. Did you say almost? Yeah. Yeah. So you were almost heroes. You oh, almost man. saved the day. You I almost my arm. You not were, a hero yet. You were almost something. Friggin' <laughs> <laughs> ran away. To fight another day, which is what dragons do. Uh, in case you didn't pick up on that, uh, Kyle was going through a partial inventory list of adventure sense from. Uh, oh wait yes oddfishgames.com uh oh, yeah tr- truly though if you haven't smelled the adventure sense uh you really should they are very impressive don't do the sewers don't did you wait did you actually smell the sewers yes <laughs> yes you you can taste it in the back of your throat with just a a slight whiff uh the mummy's lair was also stagnant but the sewers never again uh i could taste that for like two hours uh i had to eat at the ram before i could get that taste out of my mouth it was it was very well done but it was uh as advertised it stunk too high what was your favorite scent then let's what was your favorite uh favorite scent uh i think wizard's tower was pretty good um i like treasure vault personally there was uh was there also like uh um Sultan's. Uh, oh, the yeah, there was a oh, berry garden, and the, I think there was a Sultan's menagerie or something like that. There uh, was the Ottoman's oh. harem. That's the one. Yeah, that yeah. that was very good. Yeah, but sewers. <laughs> seriously, you got to do it once. But oh, I warned you. Uh, good recovery on episode one nineteen. I will do episode one twenty. Rag Witch, our Margu campaign. Uh, Family Plus One uh, plays that on Sundays. Uh, these guys are in a campaign and they are trying to get to a lost city in the jungle 
that is rumored uh, to be cursed uh, and people are going crazy. They had to first get to a ship. Uh, they had to cure the vampire bite marks on one of the players uh, who, if you think Kyle pitches oddfishgames.com well, uh, Copious V. Bitters pitches himself like he is Walmart. He, uh, <laughs> he has hired every bard that he has seen, and uh, courtesy of this DM, there is a jingle available for the uh, multitude of heroistic uh, exploits of Copious V. Bitters. Uh, but these guys got into the city, the major metropolitan area of Cragwich, where they initially started their careers uh, two years ago, uh, defeating the minions of Habu. Uh, they had a few adventures, including Man Fang, who suffered a significant facial wound uh, in a previous adventure. He went to the cosmetologist slash plastic surgeon, and he got a great job. Unfortunately, he's about to discover it was all makeup and it's going to be left on his pillow and he's going to be butt ugly again when he wakes up. In the morning. <laughs> <laughs> there was also a dalliance with a barmaid that turned quite ugly and possibly requiring a cleric's visit. Uh, but if you want to know more uh, about this adventure or the other two, uh, go to our archive at uh, tinyurl.com mhobo inc archive. Take a look at them. They're there. Uh, they might still be on Twitch, but Twitch tends to cycle through them a lot. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and break on through to the other side and discuss our main topic, Wizards, Harry. Uh, there, as we all know, you get into these games and you, you want to be Gandalf, you want to be Merlin, you want to be... Uh, uh, to be fair, Gandalf is a Eldritch Knight. It's already been decided, level 20. He really is. He does not have a ton of spells. If he does can... not. He really uses <laughs> his, his shitty spells <laughs> well, though. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, Merlin. You want to be Merlin. Uh, you want to be Morgan Le Fay. You want to be something else. Uh, you want to do magic because, Sam. let's face it, O'Neal? Mad... Who? Sam O'Neill? Is that who played Merlin? Who's the guy who was in Jurassic Park and was the raptor Sa guy? Sam O'Neill, but... Sam O'Neill. He I'm was Merlin. Excalibur. And that was not Sam O'Neill. No, Sam O'Neill is Merlin, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> Merlin out there. If you haven't seen any of our games, this is pretty much what they're like. It's just one constant freaking argument after another. Uh, but it's I can't fun. help being right. Oh, yeah, God. we can tell. You mm. can't. I oh. can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but let's face it, if you could do magic in real life, that would be super freaking cool, even if it was just a cantrip. Uh, so a lot of people pick wizards. Now, being uh, the old fogey, the get-off-my-lawn guy, I remember when being a wizard meant uh, if they hit you with anything, you were going to freaking die. Uh, Fifty has done a nice job of kind of beeping them up and allowing them to use weapons, which I think they stole that from Gandalf, Okay. Because Gandalf shouldn't have been swinging a sword, but if he's an Eldritch, Eldritch, Knight, Eldritch Knight, he's a fighter through and through. That's fine. <laughs> uh, Maybe even a bard, a valor bard. I can see him, but with less spells <laughs> and more less inspired. charisma. I that's why I'm thinking he's a paladin. I think Eldritch Knight was actually a very good call there. I think he's a paladin. <laughs> but this this is according to the internet, right? I'm sure. Yeah, they're always right. Da, 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 da. Exactly. <laughs> so, you can find them on the internet. And they're it's right. It's the one right place to be. Next to us. Uh, not next to us. Okay, <laughs> so let's go ahead and discuss it. We've got a lot of schools of uh, magic. Uh, I'm going to turn this over to the panel and give just uh, small tidbits of advice because as Kyle will remind all of us frequently, I've read these books once and don't understand them at all because it's all gibberish! Elf is a class! Uh, so we'll start with, well, we started uh, well, screw it. We'll start with Kyle. Kyle, oh, what, God. What, oh, what's no. your favorite? Okay. Carol, what's your favorite <laughs> school? <laughs> Kyle hates being called first. Oh, God. You know, it's it's tough because, I mean, there's a couple it's a couple I really like. I like. It's not tough. It's necromancy. Just say the word necromancy. And we oh, can I like things go boom. So I like evocation. Um, and I like, and I actually want to, I want to play, uh, I want to try playing an enchanter at some point. Um, 
But Eva Morgan Kate... Enchanter. Do Name it. Tim. <laughs> Get your heaven. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, go. Sorry. Um, no, Not just I... games. Oh, God. I can't even talk with him. He's, God, he's like, everybody always talks over me, but you have taken it to a new level tonight. Hey, hey. With the sponsorship of Oddfish Games, I feel empowered to spread the word of fish that are odd. Actually, and I'm going to start with Enchantment. I think it was Enchantment. Um, actually, you know, it's funny because you meant there's like, it's funny, you've got the schools, but there's also a couple other ones. There's also, um, there's the Blades, what is it? Blades, uh, Blade Singer. Blade Singer. That so I have not talked about, uh, sorry, Carol, to interrupt on that one. Oh, no. uh, I was going to talk about it a little bit later, but uh, the race restricted classes, which you have Blade Singer, you have the Barbarian who does that. <laughs> and you know what? Fish the, games. I <laughs> noticed, I noticed something though, when I was reading through the Blade, Blade Singer and the fact mm -hmm. that, that they actually do say right in the thing, Feel free to open up to other races. This is that is the forgotten realms uh, storyline. That blade singers were all elves, and it's a very secretive form of magic that they wield. And it combines magic with uh, sword play. But um, but as I said, that's one. That's on my list too of ones that I like. Enchantment. It just would be. Of course, there's a lot of question of people are question of you know questioning that might be enchantment might be one of the most evil schools because. You kind of you do mess with people's wills and stuff. So, um, but in some ways, I would like to do that to NPCs, uh, especially Frank's but, NPCs. But in reality, I I like things that go. But I love you know I love magic. I don't remember magic which school magic missile. Is. I want to say it's ev evocation, but I know fireball is, and that of course is one of my favorite spells of all time. Someday, I have not built a, actually have not built a wizard in 5e, but I do plan on doing it. Uh, they are too much fun to play. So, I mean, I have a sorcerer, which is sort of like it, but the big difference between, of course, sorcerers and wizards is that it's the way you get your spells. Wizards have spell books. You get X amount of spells uh, given to you for free, and then you either have, you have to find more in the game. And you can just keep adding as, as long as you keep finding them. So there's actually, I, I don't know, is there a limit on how many spells you can have in your spell book? According to 2E rules, yes. No. no. <laughs> According to 5E, no, no. you can have no. every single wizard spell on the spell sure. book in your book. Yeah, because I didn't see a limit because I was looking through it earlier and I didn't see any limits. I'm like, wait, was there any? So D&D is no limits, people. That's one of the fun things about it. Um, and I mean, I like the rules too for learning spells. It costs X amount of gold, and it's not a huge amount, uh, and uh, and only two hours per level. So, you know, that's actually I think better than the old rules used to be. But yeah, I'm sorry. What? Had, <laughs> hey, I like a lot of the new rules. I like Five E. I really do. Um, but yeah, but those are like my those are like my schools that I really like, and at some point would like to play. So. That's this. There's my long and digression-filled answer. Keep talking for a little bit longer, Carol. Please. Actually, that, right. that, that wasn't bad at all. Uh, so he's going to leave. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about necromancy because uh, right. necromancy, if you're short on friends or you're shy, you can always bring them back. Just, you know, wander through the graveyard. That's the important thing. They say uh, it's difficult to raise a family, but a necromancer would, you know, tell you otherwise. You sound like a meme. <laughs> It is. <laughs> uh, and as uh, if you've watched the show at all, especially in Cacophony, you know that our producer plays a necromancer and her love for things such as Fog Cloud are soon to become legendary. Uh, I think she's just waiting so she can raise dead and send them uh, barking against the people of Cacophony and or uh, Mortimer J. Sneed. <clears throat> who, oh, especially. I, I think is he on sabbatical? More, yes, he's an uh, uh, instructor with the Grand Academy. I think he's starting to grow on the players, though. I really do. Okay. Uh, um, only because he, we didn't die in the hot air balloon. He crash landed it. Oh, only one of you, and I can't remember who, Carol, uh, nearly died in the uh, hot air balloon accident. 
because of her careless nature and her inability to not punish people below her by dropping rocks on hey, them. Hey, wait a minute. I did not, I, I'm trying to remember what almost, what took, I know I took a couple points, but I think a lot of the damage was actually the fight before that, wasn't it? Where we got uh, I, I don't know. I just DM that shit. I don't pay attention. <laughs> anyway, Kyle, what's your favorite uh, school? Okay. Going to start off. Illusion. It's always the best. When I first started playing D&D, that's immediately the very first character I played was a gnome illusionist wizard who got his ass kicked repeatedly. And <laughs> because oh. illusion is great sometimes. It depends on your DM. Yeah. It depends on your DM. I rolls. did not realize <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, yes. The magic die. Yeah, no. I read dog dice. Yeah. No, but um, overall, uh, as far as 5e is, is concerned, I don't like the wizard class as much as I used to. Uh, and the reason for that is um, they're less restrictive on the spell list. I like the idea that a wizard can master every single spell, but I believe in Pathfinder. I stare at Carol as I say that. In oh, 2e. Is yes. that a wizard who specialized in a certain school of magic was then unable to? Uh, I thought for the fist up in the air, I was like, "Oh shit, am I muted again?" As I make my point, no, no, two e. You gave the shout out to two e. Yeah, I think it's two e as well as where if you are a specialized wizard that you can't take magic from certain other classes that are its opposite, and uh, I think. What you end up with doing that, 5e made it open to everything. Now it's great. Everybody has a great time and can pick whatever spells they want, but you end up getting a wizard illusionist who casts fireball, major illusion, and all the other same spells that every other wizard takes because those are the spells to take. Uh, but, I mean, yeah. At that point, you just have a class that's... Um, relies on the spells really and there's not too much difference between conjuration necromancy evocation abjuration transmutation divination enchantment illusion blade singing and the war well blade singer is going to be very different because you're also mis you also have to mix in your the, the swords you know you are a fighter so you are singer, not a fighter you are a wizard who can fight. can fight yeah but still you and should not fight <laughs> It's not like a school of magic, though, where, you know, a blade singer to me would be able to access anything. Sure. And to me, it, it should not be as, I haven't really delved into it, but should not be as great at access as every every other wizard is, because to me, your part of your focus is on learning how to fight, too. Sure. Um, I said, it's something I'd like to try at some point, uh, along with the 50,000 other ideas I want to try at some sure. point. Now, now, see, let's go ahead and harp on the Blade Singer for just a second, uh, because you bring up a good point. Uh, if you can fight and sling spells, honestly, why the hell would you be anything else? Okay, oh, well, I can do it all. Uh, it's like a bard. Now, granted, I do like vicious mockery with bards, because there's nothing like insulting somebody to death, but I, I think this is where a fight... Odd fish games. <laughs> uh, make your wisdom saving throw, guys. That's a... Ooh, four psychic damage. Odd fish games. <laughs> I, I think that uh, that's where 5e fails, and, and both of you have touched on it. Uh, you know, oh, what, what school did you go to? Doesn't matter. I'm going to use anything that I want. I think that they should minimize it, maybe even uh, pigeonhole it, but give bonuses. So if you're going to stick with the illusionist, Maybe uh, the illusionary scale gets different. Maybe the, conjur uh, the conjurers uh, get a bigger bonus in what they create and things of that nature. Personal opinion. Uh, but yeah, that's what I don't really like. Do. One of the hey, hey, Frank. Yes, no, ma'am. There's no generalist, right? You have to pick a school, right? Correct. See, that's, mm -hmm. that's why they did that. Now, I, although, because, you know, the, you, you, when you used to play in the old systems, 
you didn't have to pick one school. You could be a general. You could just be a generalist. Or you pick a favorite one. I was a ranger, dear. I like to kick the shit out of things. I didn't do that fancy, Mm. fancy bullshit library shit. I killed people for a living. (laughs) I haven't played played enough wizards. Um, Well, and um, just to be a, sorry, Carol, to benefit the 5E wizard that you can cast anything, uh, Ren Shimmerleaf, who was my gnome illusionist, because he had his, this is for mature audiences only, shit kicked in all the time. Uh, I believe the gnome, or the bard came up with a song called Gnomish Rape uh, oh, that he switched over. Uh, he stayed an illusionist wizard, but he started picking up spells that would summon demons uh, and he went down a much darker road, and that is a great thing with 5e. It's like, yeah, even though I chose illusion, I'm going to also start taking some schools from the conjuration, and I'm going to have these big, buff, evil demons help me out while I turn invisible or I make an illusionary That's dragon funny. appear. You are the poster child for the 80s panic. <laughs> One of the best things is I summon demons, demons. and they kill people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I keep thinking about the, the old days. Now, basically in the older versions, you you yeah, you were you could pick you could pick one. I think also general there was one that you didn't have to pick any. Um, but you could pick one, but you, I think you could get access to pretty much any other school other than your opposing one. Uh-huh. And you would just get benefits to the school you picked. Um, I mean, there is one benefit to it, is like it's a lot cheaper. It's what half price? No, it's more than that. No, that it's like is a price. great way thing but they it, do to really um, um, try and get you to stay in your school. Yeah. But honestly, you get six spells right off the bat, and you learn a two for every. Cl- uh, level you gain so at the very least you have 46 spells at your disposal 44 46 something along those items. 20 Ma- math is pathfinder <coughs> math is pathfinder that's right screw Path- that pathfinder. A- and the other bonus to being a wizard is you're usually pretty light so the barbarian can pick you up by the ankles and use you as an <laughs> improvised weapon because maybe, <laughs> just maybe, you'll stab somebody with your freaking quill and make yourself useful in melee, at yeah. least until you hit fifth level and start smoking shit. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's only one bite. So even though you are more hardy than you used to, because it used to be D4s and now it's D6s, you know, it's still not that you still got to be careful because like, you could still knock out your freaking wizard. You know, they have no armor. They still don't wear armor. They can cast mage armor, which mage does armor. help. And Guys, shields. Oh, fucking lot. Boy, helps Taryn out a lot. Because my armor class is awful before I could take it. So. Yeah, sure. So as a wizard, you get six spells to start off with. Yeah. Those three are going to be shield, mage armor, and absorb elements. <laughs> and you can pick whatever other three you want. Magic uh, make sure you pick up Firebolt. Oh, Magic Missile. How could I forget? You have two spells to choose from. <laughs> you know what? I I will pigeonhole people. All right, granted, Mage Armor, I, th- I understand. That is sort of an important spell. But I, I find it very interesting when I find players that don't build the usual, and they find a way to take the unusual and make it work really well. And that that happens more times than not. I'll, there'll be something, I'll, I'll bump into a player who's got something totally non-standard and it's like, oh my God, how did you make that work? It's, it's you know, it's- They I, had a I, great I, DM I, who was- <laughs> Yeah, that ain't gonna happen in this group. No way. You guys are gonna get shit canned for that. Uh, speaking of that, let's uh, segue into this. With all these spells, how do you keep track of- what you've used oh, yeah. and what you've got available. If only there was some kind of an answer from somebody who plays a spellcaster like Kyle. All the time. Uh, yeah, but- first and foremost, if your DM does not allow phones and you don't get one of those fancy phone apps to keep track of your spells, get the cards, get the books, markers, wonderful. They are amazing and I love them. 
dry erase markers. Yep. And um, as far as keeping track of those spells, I know I personally always had uh, difficulty issues with that. Uh, and so I ended up uh, purchasing poker chips. And then I would, ooh, that's saying very difficult. So in this case, wizard spell slot one. The two dots on the back are for when I play sorcerers, so I know how much they cost spell-wise. But then just having a whole different Aru of them, and then I can be that really annoying guy who does... <clears throat> I think uh, it's a good idea. I, I think you're selling yourself short. I think even without the poker chips, you're really annoying. Yeah, thank you very <laughs> much. I appreciate that. I, I try very hard. Uh, now, does no, that work for you? That works perfectly well for me. I've seen um, where... If you love to buy dice, you know, you have D4. From Pirate have... Dog Dice. Pirate Dog yeah. Dice. Wait, Pirate Dog, who the fuck are they? I care about Odd Fish Games. Fuck this Pirate Dog Dice shit. No, I love Pirate Dog Dice. Oh, and they okay. roll well, too. Thank you, Carrie. Oh, Pirate, oh, Carrie. Okay, hey, yeah. No, Pirate Dog Dice, they are freaking amazing. Please don't send me this, <coughs> guys, Carrie. <laughs> It's awkward Eric, enough. That that's cursed. Cursed. Uh, <laughs> no, but um, you know, be creative with it. You have dice. You should have a shit ton of dice. So grab a bunch of d6s, and that can easily help you to keep track of spells too. Because <laughs> dog dice. Oh, I love the dog <laughs> dice. Like little poop dice. Uh, little dog poop in. Oh, that's a good idea. I actually right? like dog poop dice. Kind of nice. So both of those methods seem to work for you, right? Absolutely, yeah. Excellent. Let's get on with the uh, final installment of the Wizards uh, with all of these classes. If you've seen this before, you know what's coming. If you haven't, uh, we like to pose to the panel, uh, what do you think a good adventure for a solitary class, in this case, wizard, or a group dynamic would be. Uh, we started with Kyle last time uh, and then moved to Carol, but we'll stick with Carol because Kyle needs time to think. Uh, Carol, uh, one versus many wizards. What do you think? What do you mean by that? What kind of scenario would you pose or query to a single person uh, or playing a wizard? I mean, or a group of four or five that are all playing wizards. Well, actually, I could think of one for <coughs> both. I mean, you could run a whole campaign on the quest for a like, and a spell. I mean, they're looking for some really powerful spell. I mean, you you could even design a spell like an artifact, like a ninth level. I almost want to say like looking for an artifact, that sort of type of spell, something really powerful. Uh, and either they got to go and destroy it because they don't want to get anybody's hands, or especially since wizards can copy spells from scrolls into their books, they could. It could be a group, you know, if they because they could basically just pass the spell if it's one they won't want to keep. They could just basically pass the scroll around and, and copy it in to know, you know, and it'll still be there. So are that's. You gonna, what I, so. Are you going to have them all cast it at the same time? Well, no, they're looking to get it for their collection. Okay. No, that, that makes sense. What would you do with a solitary? Same thing? Yeah, I think that would work. I mean... He's going to die. Have you not been paying attention? Wizards no, are squishy. That's the, one thing, that's the one thing. That's one thing that's sort of... I mean, as a GM, you though, you have to take that into consideration when no, you... No, you don't. No, you don't. No. Maybe you don't. <laughs> but you do a good... A good... GM will take that into consideration. Never seen one of them. <laughs> but I think I think out of out of a lot uh, con compared to a lot of other classes, to me it would be a lot harder to run a just a single wizard, let alone a group, because you don't have any. You don't have it. Yeah, they don't wear armor. I mean, you know, so they got mage armor, which helps, but it's not great. You'd have to find some way to bolster the defenses a bit. And they don't have a huge amount a hit point pool, so it to me be it would be a challenge to run a group of them. But I mean, it could be done. It's it's like anything else; you just have to balance it. Fair enough, Kyle. Same question. Same question. All right, I'm going to start with the uh, 
group of wizard scenario because I've made that scenario already. Uh, Carol, I think you were there. We did the map one shot where we designed a adventure around a map. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to plug the name in on that guy? Because I don't remember. Dyson? Dyson Logos. Dyson Logos. They're as good, but not as great as Oddfish. And Oddfish is not as good as Pirate Dog Dice. Pirate Dog Dice. You're right. Dog shit dice. Yes, you can. <laughs> No, I was going to say, no, that they're equals because the other one focuses more on the scents and all that stuff. And, and, and Carol, plushies. And the plushies. And and Carrie does Carol, or not Carol, I saw uh, Carrie, Carrie. Wow. Uh, you yeah, know what? We've only met bounced. that one time, Carrie, and you didn't even say hi to me, so fuck you. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll just get better equipment, Carrie. You can't stop me. I'll have my own Twitch channel. Uh, no, um, sorry. Oh, shit, DM. <laughs> <laughs> Dark shit, DM types. There we go. <laughs> sorry, Continue well, the joke. <laughs> I think he's okay. I'm, I'm writing that one down. <laughs> okay. Dark shit, DM. <laughs> so no, in a previous uh, uh, between the roles um, during December, the month of December, we each created a bunch of one shots that you can go back to and look. That's on the YouTube channel. We were not sponsored by Odd Fish Games at the time, but that's okay because Pirate Dog Dice was always there behind us. Even if they weren't quite ready to be Pirate Dogs Dice, they were there the entire time. Um, oh my and so God. with one of those adventures, we ended up taking a map from Dyson Logos, where I developed the one shot of level one, level two wizards at a wizarding school where a familiar octopus was actually a illithid um, interloper. I don't know who was starting to take over the school. And you start from there, honestly, if you want to build a campaign where you are going up against illithids because if you're going to fight illithids, you want a wizard because you know that barbarian isn't making that intelligence save. <laughs> Neither is any of the other party because it's all their dumb stat. Thankfully, <laughs> the wizard comes in, and so there you go. You have a campaign centered around a wizarding class, and you get the best of all things because you get four or five wizards who are now going to get every single spell on the wizard spell list, and, you know, despite the fact that all of them have to take shield. At least only one of them will take mage armor. Cast it on everybody else. Everyone else can pick a cool spell that no one ever uses. I like multiple wizards in a party. Sorry. Uh, as far as your solo adventure, um, I think that was probably what got me started into DMing was, again, I'm going to talk about my wizard again, Ram Shimmerleaf, where my first adventure was, you know what? Ren really hates this asshole party he's with, uh, and he's absolutely terrified of the outside world, so he's going to take over this castle over here, and he's going to be the big bad necromancer that's taken over the place. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, and so what you do for your solo adventure, and uh, honestly, I'm in the um, realm where if a wizard has a chance to prepare, he can take on anything. And so at that point, you just say to your player, hey, we're doing a solo one shot. Let's do a wizard. Uh, you're this level. Here's a map of the castle you've taken over. Um, you've been terrorizing a small village and you hear that they hired a party of adventurers to come after you. Make your defenses work. Box of snakes. Box of snakes. Box of snakes, yeah, no. But, you know, they charm person, the goblin uh, shaman give do to have a bunch of goblins running amok. They do this, they do that. You talk about it. And at the end of the day, it's the necromancer versus the group of adventuring heroes. And that's how you write a solo adventure for a wizard. That's fair. Uh, I will go with, uh, <clears throat> I don't really care for group 
of wizards. Oh, come on. Uh, I, I, it, it's just a personal preference. I'm sure it could work. <clears throat> I haven't given it much thought, though. I would say that uh, I like Carol's idea of them coming together to try and find some specific spell or relic or close down evil or something like that. Uh, I would focus more on the solo adventure. And uh, growing up, there was a significant lack of urban scenarios. And ever since I've started to do the urban scenarios, I got to say, I'm a huge fan uh, because uh, A, anything can happen. And B, if you do get the shit kicked out of you, there's usually a temple in town that you could say, okay, time out. I'm going to go get healed so I don't freaking die, uh, which is nice uh, because the necro or I'm sorry. The wizard is a squishy class, and without associates, they're going to be primary target, and they are going to get hit often. And yeah, uh, to be fair, they should always be the primary target. If you see a star and moon hat, you take that motherfucker. You take them out, and then then go for the healer. No, no. Prevent I, dungeon I, fires. <laughs> kill the wizard first. I don't get around. Kill the healer first because the healer could just bring back the wizard. Just keep healing the wizard. You gotta take out the healer first. You know what? I'm sorry. Get... Is this a show about healers? No, this is about no. wizards yeah. who we twist did the will of the world to their whim. <sighs> creating Sorry. amazing companies like Oddfish Games and Smelly <laughs> Scents. Adventure sense. <laughs> uh, are they smelly or not? Some yeah. are. Some some are very pleasing. Some are, to be honest, I like a nice delicate scent. I can't do heavy fruit at all. It fucks me over. Uh, fairy forest, I believe, was one of them. Or fey forest. That's a good one. That was very pleasant. Enchanted one. forest. Enchanted forest. <clears throat> Gosh, come uh, on. Hey, it's been a year. The list of names, and I still know them. Oh my god! Okay, uh, folks, this has been Wizards. Uh, let's go uh, to final thoughts, and then uh, Kyle can remind us all uh, who our potential next sponsor is. Uh, final thoughts. Uh, we started this uh, mess with Kyle. We'll start it with Carol this time. Carol, final thoughts. Oh, Wizard, Wizards, the masters of blowing shit up. Um, this to me, there's nothing better than hey. Uh, uh, actually, my other favorite spell is magic missile. So that's why Perrin has a magic missile. Mm -hmm. I like things that make uh, get the enemy go boom. Fog cloud, thunder wave. End of end of discussion. There you go. That's Those are the two spell. ranger spells. Yeah, well, that's my final thought. Anyways, I, that's what I like about them. We look forward to seeing your wizard character when you create it. Uh, Kyle, final thoughts. Uh, wizards, they're absolutely fun to play. Uh, gosh, but sorry. it's a fucking thing to get him going. Yeah, no, the, the pretty girl, pretty girl. Uh, wizards, no, they're fun to play. Play them smart, and they're great. Yeah, you I don't know. Smart, I love yeah. wizards because I like the idea of if a wizard knows something, prepares for something, he's unstoppable, and that just wasn't the case with Frank. But I still like the idea. Maybe I'll play a wizard again. I'll end it, my final thought with wizards. They're great when you grab them by the ankles and go up and over. Uh, they do a significant amount of damage that way. That's the only time they're really going to hurt anybody until they're what? full of uh, <laughs> Folks, this has been Between the Rolls uh, on Murder Hobo Inc. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, uh, it's there. If you want to chat with us on Discord, it's there. Most importantly, if you want a game, uh, give us a shout. We'll get you in here. If you want to do the talk show thing, uh, let us know. We'll get you in here. Uh, if you want to sponsor us, like Oddfish Games or Pirate Dog Dice, the dog shit dice that you can <laughs> sparkle and gleam. Uh, j just, just saying, Don Julio, uh, you're about to miss the boat, and Scott's going to be very upset. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo, very Inc. upset and very sober. 
and very sober. And we don't, we, you don't want a don't want Scott us. playing Eric Hall Justice Man because that just is not fun at all. <laughs> uh, folks, catch us uh, Thursday. I believe we've got a cacophony episode. Uh, Saturday is the 4th of July. We will be running a uh, rerun. Enjoy your family. Try not to blow your fingers off. Uh, I'm not talking to anybody at the New York Giants. I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, and be careful and enjoy the holiday for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a great night. Don't forget to wash your hands, cover your mouth when you cough. Bye, buddy. That is